to me, mackerel, the UK's mini tuna, is one of the finest fish that we have in our waters. It's a great eating fish. You can't, there's not much that can beat fresh mackerel. And apart from that, pound for pound, it's one of the hardest fish, fighting fish, that you can fish for. Particularly when you're fishing for them singly, you know, maybe just spinning off the rocks or spinning off the harbour walls. They really offer great sport. Now they can generally consider the spring, summer and autumn fish. And in the winter they tend to migrate offshore into, into deeper water and then and sit down on the bottom. Shoal up and, and sit down at the bottom and when the water temperature gets a bit warmer, about 11 degrees, around about May time, then they move close to shore. But in Cornwall, we can get them in the winter, particularly if you can get access to deeper water. Now it's February now, it's mid-February, and I'm out in the Carrick Roads, the Fowl Estuary, which does give me access to deeper water in the main channel, and it can get, get to over 100 feet deep. Now I know at this time of year that you get some really good mackerel out in the deep channel, particularly down on the bottom. And the great thing about catching mackerel this time of year, the average size tends to be a lot bigger and you can catch some really, really good sized mackerel. Whereas in the summer, what I find is that a lot of the mackerel tend to be a bit small, a, little, a lot of joey mackerel. So like I said, I'm out, out fishing at anchor. I'm anchoring in a hundred foot of water. And what I'm using, I've got my usual herring rig, which is like mini feathers on size six hooks and the other reason for that is for also at this time of year we get some herring so that enables me to catch those as well but I'm mainly targeting mackerel and I've got my usual jig down at the bottom which will also catch mackerel rather than using a lead weight I've got a jig and basically all I'm doing is lowering it down to the bottom until it hits the bottom and then winding it up a couple of times turns and just bouncing it along the bottom got the fish finder on as well and I can see see when the shoals of mackerel or herring are passing through and hopefully as I say past records have shown that this time of year I, I stand a very very good chance out in this deep water here of picking up some really really good sized mackerel so we're going to give it a go and um, hopefully hopefully I can pick up a few for the dinner table I'm sure that many of you that have fished for mackerel before will know the method is pretty straightforward when you're fishing with a string of feathers. It's just a matter of lowering it down to whatever, whatever depth you, the mackerel are and then just gently jigging. I mean sometimes with mackerel I find if I'm pulling in another rod I'll just put the rod in the rod holder and leave it and, and very often you'll catch mackerel that way just by leaving it in the rod holder, holder and the rocking of the kayak will jig it for you. It's a gent gentle jig and at the moment I'm just jigging right down the bottom just a couple of turns off the bottom which is where the mackerel are. <laughs> There you go, an absolutely beautiful Cornish winter mackerel there. Lovely sized mackerel. And generally, I, as I said earlier, as I find in the finding the winter, you, if you can find them, they're usually much, much, the average size is much bigger 
than the little joeys, a lot of the little joey mackerel you tend to get in the summer months. At least that's what I find, the winter mackerel are. And you can get some real, some really big mackerel in the winter. So that's great, fantastic fish. The UK's mini tuna, wonderful fish, great eating fish. And one of my favourite fish to catch. Particularly if you're maybe spinning from the rocks, just on light tackle or spin off a harbour wall on light tackle. They're a fantastic fish. So it's great to know that uh, the mackerel are here in the winter, really pleasing. Well, I'm into some mackerel again. And one thing, the mackerel at this time of year are absolutely brilliant. Mainly because the average size is, is so much bigger. Therefore, if you get a, you get a string of them, like I appear to have here, and they take some, they take some getting up. There's some lo lovely mackerel. Great size mackerel. There, they'll be really full of, full of juicy oils. There's some fish, into fish here, but I, oh, oh yeah, maybe it is mackerel. I'm not sure whether it's this. This was mackerel. But, fighting a bit more like, like a mackerel now. Yeah. This big shoal started showing down the bottom. Yeah, it's mackerel. Single mackerel. And like I, like I said earlier, you really get some decent, decent sized mackerel. That is a, big, that's a decent size. Lovely mackerel. Not a huge mackerel, but that's the sort of average size you tend to get in the winter. And that's great, and certain some quite a bit bigger than this. Um, so it's really ple really pleasing to be able to catch them and catch mackerel in the winter um, rather than just in the summer. Fantastic fish, beautiful, beautiful colours. They've got really two lovely two-tone colours in the belly there. Great fish. No, oh, I'm into some mackerel. I was just, I was just literally getting ready to, to pack up, and I just put the, the rod in the rod holder while I was sorting the, the fish out that I caught today, and, the, and over it went, and it looks like we've got a few, a few more mackerel. So it's been a great day, and just goes to show that. Mackerel are not just a summer fish. In certain areas, we can get get them in the in the winter as well. And all of these mackerel have been caught in very very deep water in the channel here, and they've been caught right down on the bottom, just literally jigging and jigging the lures on the bottom or, or just off the bottom. Well, it turned out to be a good day. I got a nice bag of mackerel there, and a nice bag of uh, winter mackerel, and some really, really nice sized ones. And the average size is is much bigger than the mackerel you get in the summer. So it just goes to show they can be caught in the winter if you can access the right right locations in Cornwall, particularly if you can get to deep water like I've been fishing today. Now I'm going to get these home, and some of these will be kept out and eaten fresh over the next few days and the others will be frozen down. None of, none of them will be wasted. They'll all be eaten. And I've got a tip for people. There's many people that say that mackerel are no good frozen. Now I wouldn't recommend going and buying a mackerel from the shop, from the fishmonger, and then taking it home and freezing it. 
But if you're out and you've caught a bag of mackerel yourself, then you might you keep them cool, keep them on ice, and when you get home, if you can't eat them fresh, wrap them, clean them, gut them, wrap them in cling film, and then pop them in the freezer, and I can assure you they are still absolutely delicious to eat. And far better that and just than wasting them. And my wife and I, we've done this for years now. We've regularly eaten frozen mackerel within, say, a month to two months of catching them. And they're absolutely delicious. So try that if you're on the harbour wall and you've caught a load of mackerel. If you're not going to um, eat them, of course, then just put them back. Or if you're not going to freeze them and keep them from bait, um, put them back. But if you do take a bag home and you're wondering what you can do with them, and you don't think you can freeze them, I can assure you you can. You get them in the freezer on the same day of, of, of catching them and they will still be perfectly okay to eat. So once again, I hope you found that useful, a bit of Cornish winter mackerel fishing and many, many thanks for watching. Thank you.